Hi, it's me, Gordon. Happy dad, grandpa, whatever you want to call me. Uh, what's this about? I didn't want to have to explain 200 times to everybody that I know, family, friends, whatever, what's going on. Some of you may have gathered through uh, word of mouth, questions, discussions, whatever, what's going on. But uh, about 40 years ago, actually it'll be 40 years this March, uh, I met Amy in a bar, and that night we met in the bar. I, being a smart ass, I was recently divorced uh, from my first wife and uh, picking up on her. And I, we sat there and I was like, hey, I'm tired. Of, you know, I just got screwed in this last relationship, you know, and divorced and all that. And I, I wanted something a little bit more, you know, I don't want to be chasing down the wrong rabbit hole. So I, I made out this little list of questionnaire of like 20 questions for her to answer. And she, you know, she went down and answered him as we're sitting in this bar slamming beers, getting shit-faced. And uh, one of the things on there, my question is, what did you want to do for your retirement, you know, for the end of, you know, when you retire? And she wanted to retire to a beach. Well, I kind of did, too. So, that in mind, you know, one thing led to another, and this thing led to that. And, you know, we kind of meshed. We ended up getting married. Uh, along about 15 years into our uh, wedding, or for our 15th anniversary, I uh, took her to Jamaica for our anniversary present kind of thing. Great. She loved it. We loved it. I mean, Jamaica, man, we loved it. Hit this beautiful place on the beach. And for, you know, the next 15 years, we'd go down, you know, so first time it took us five years to go back again, and then we'd go every other year after that for a while. Just fell in love with it. It's the beach, man. God, we're on the fucking beach. You'd love it. Well, the one thing led to another, and uh, started to get closer to retirement. And so I started, you know, let's, okay, this is the beach. Let's look into this. And I started poking around and realized I can't afford Jamaica. I mean, you know, it's... Why is shit so expensive there? It's because it's an island. <sighs> uh, yeah, it's an island. Everything has to be imported. Most everything has to be imported. So this is why goods cost so much. Okay, well, you know, well, then I can't, I'm not, I'm not going to retire to Jamaica. I mean, we could. We could afford to go to Jamaica. We, you know, we could manage. <sighs> but... You know, I don't know. It, it, it would be tough. It would be tight. Uh, you know, is it worth it? The, uh, the stress it would put on us financially to, to achieve that. And uh, so we were talking. I started looking around. It's like, well, okay, stay in the United States, okay, because it can't be an island. So I started looking at So there's Florida. Uh, the motherfuckers in Florida, they're crazy. I, I can't deal with Florida. Then, like I say, they're just loony. Um, uh, what do we got? Alabama, Mississippi. Uh, you guys know me. I'm pretty. Uh, I'm pretty liberal. You know, I'm. I've always been a extremely liberal. That's why most of my family hates me. I guess because <laughs> I'm one of them peace, love, hippie, liberal, long hair guys that you know. Hey, fuck you, world. This is you know. We should all be nice to each other. Quit being a dick and telling people what to do. But in any case, we don't. This is not a political statement. Uh, I decided against that. I've lived in New Orleans. They don't really have the best beaches in Louisiana. We're not fond of that. Texas was a definite no. Well, that shot the shit out of New York, uh, the United States because I really didn't want to go up the East Coast. You know, South Carolina, Georgia. Yeah. Okay, so uh, next comes up Mexico. Well, just about this time, I mean, this is about, about what, uh, five, six years ago, and uh, five years ago. Mexico, and they, I guess we had a bunch of drug cartels spray in the beach of uh, in the Yucatan with uh, automatic gunfire from uh, jet skis. Ah, 
you know, I live in a pretty fucking rough neighborhood here in Kansas City. Um, I mean, a gunfire, gunfire on a nightly basis. It's, uh, it, it's <laughs> last night for New Year's Eve, I mean, we had full on auto fire. And uh, you can tell gunfire from fireworks. And some of this was just right outside my door type gunfire shit. And anyway, that's why I got bullet, bullet resistant siding. Anyway, um, decided against Mexico. Well, okay. And then I come down, you know, Belize. I like Belize. Belize checks a lot of boxes, man. It's checking a lot of fucking boxes. It's a little bit more expensive than I want. Um, but, you know, okay, we're going to put a pin in Belize. Put a pin in Belize. Belize is a definite possibility because they got some nice beaches. It's conceivable. <coughs> so, that in mind, I just, I just <coughs> hang on. <coughs> we'll have to cut that out. I got, you know. Anyway, uh, I decided to skip on around over the other side of the thing. You know, well, okay, we come down to China Islands in the Caribbean there, you know, uh, all the way down, down here, all the way down to Aruba, get off the islands, hit the coast. Venezuela. Oh, I don't think I like Venezuela so much. So I'm kind of, I got Google Maps up, right, or Google Earth, and I'm zoomed in, and I'm just watching this path, and I'm coming down there. Okay, we hit Colombia. Colombia, I don't know. Maybe, you know, they've been pretty good. I haven't heard a lot about them in the news lately. I'm scrolling down, and I'm zooming along, and I'm hitting these beaches, and I'm watching, I'm watching. And this first part up here in Colombia is called La Guajara. It, all desert. Reminds me a whole lot of uh, New Mexico Indian reservations with waterfront. <laughs> you know, New Mexico with waterfront. Very desert. Um, get down here and then all of a sudden it starts turning green. It's like, okay, I like green. I like green. Getting greener, getting greener, getting greener, getting greener, getting greener, getting greener. And then I hit this little town called Palomino. And as I passed over Palomino on Google Earth, hundreds of little uh, hostels and Airbnbs and hotels popped up. Well, that's weird as fuck. This little tiny town on this course. So I zoom in, and I'm really playing around. and say, hey, this looks interesting. So I decided I wanted to go check this place out. Because I started doing some YouTube research, looking around, found it. It was wonderful. And if you guys remember, and if you actually zip up to a couple of my these other previous uh, videos, which were basically just videos that I shot as an exploratory adventure into Palomino to see what is this place. All right. When I hit there, I discovered Palomino is basically, it reminded me a whole lot of what I've read and seen of Negril, Jamaica in 1979, 1970, 71, real early 70s. I mean, it was just a hippie beach town. But, you know, it was a fishing village filled with hippies. But mostly, you know, the beach wasn't that great. It's a bit more white cap surf, so it's more of a surfing village full of hippies. But it was a fishing village. I loved it. Loved it. Fell in love. And I came back and I told Amy, I said, honey, this is it. We're, I, I found it. We're moving to Columbia. We're moving to Palomino. This is a great little town. And she said, whoa, bucko. Hold up a minute. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going. I like it. She said, well, no, let's just wait a minute. I said, we're old. We need to be not in this little tiny town two and a half hours away or two hours away from civilization to, uh, we need, we're old. We need health care. We need infrastructure. Oh, you're probably right. Why the hell are women always right? In any case, so, okay. <sighs> Closest town is Santa Marta. And this is the town that uh, I flew into when I went down, because I had to fly into Bogota and go from Bogota 
up to Santa Marta. And in Santa Marta, I would take a private car out to um, Palomino. Well, Santa Marta's got a big enough town, 500,000. They've got an airport. Uh, it's an international airport, but, they, you know, they got an airport. So uh, we've decided Santa Marta works. And I've done a whole lot of uh, research, reading studying, experimenting, playing around, looking into, and uh, Santa Marta and the whole Magdalena, Department of Magdalena, <coughs> <coughs> Department of Magdalena, which is in the country of Colombia, they're called states, departments, states, departments, very similar to the U.S. in that sense. Um, so... It's in the Department of Magdalena. Now, Amy and I are going to go down, and uh, I'm going to give her her inaugural orientation trip through this area. We're going to go check out, uh, well, spend some time in Santa Marta, spend some time up in Minca, and spend some time out in Palomino. I'm still pushing for Palomino. You know me. I got to push for Palomino anyway, even though she's right. So, thing is, yeah, she's right. Palomino would be perfect for my hippie lifestyle that I turned out to enjoy so much. However, this I mentioned Minka. Minka is this little town above Santa Marta because Santa Marta, this whole area, is in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Uh, this is a mountain range in the north uh, east of uh, South America, northeastern point of South America, a little mountain range. Uh, 20, actually, it's 19,500 foot peak, I think, roughly. Tall white snow capped peak mountains right there on the coast. <laughs> Sea, beach, mountain. Oh, hey, that's cool. I like that. Um, you know, tsunami's coming. I'll run up the hill. Tsunami, missed me. Minka is about, what is Minka? I think it's uh, about 1,500 foot or so above Santa Marta. Uh, as you go up the hill, it's about 15 kilometers or I think something like that up the hill, 20 kilometers as you climb zigzag roads going up the hill. A uh, little coffee town. Yeah, Minka is the echo capital of Colombia. Turns out it is, I guess, what uh, some of us could call a uh, hippie yoga town. <laughs> a bunch of hippies doing yoga up on the mountainside, so drinking coffee, little coffee farms, mixing chocolate because they're chocolate farms, cacao farms, coffee farms. In the jungle, look down off the mountain, look down there, and there's Santa Marta down there, and the bay and the beach, and it's beautiful, beautiful. So we're going to go down and check that out. Uh, I'm planning and I'm hoping and planning on moving there, living there. Uh, getting a Colombian pensioner's visa. We qualify fine for that. Um, pensioner visa in, Pan in uh, Colombia is uh, uh, extremely doable for just about anybody living on Social Security in the U.S. Uh, and the cost of living in Colombia is that which is uh, roughly between 25 and 30%, 33% less, or 66% less than the U.S. Well, you know, it's cheaper than the U.S., 30 40% less, 50% less. Yeah, it's cheap. Uh, I'm not necessarily going, I mean, we can afford it. That's just it. We can afford to live on the beach near the, uh, we can afford to live on the beach. Literally front row on the beach, nice little apartment on a high rise overlooking the ocean where you like you'd see in Miami. We can live like that very, very comfortably with no problem. I'm going to come back off the beach a bit. And I like to say, maybe even come up into Minka 
give you just kind of a ballpark. Uh, rents down there can let's let's say four to five hundred dollars a month for rent. Get up on the beach like that. Yeah, we may be fifteen hundred, twelve, fifteen hundred dollars a month on the beach. Uh, back up five hundred bucks. Get up into Minka. We may find something for you know four or five hundred bucks a month. So. Uh, living in the tropics, kind of a dream, you know? So uh, this is just kind of giving you guys a heads up on what's happening, what I'm doing, and where I'm going, and why. We'll uh, post videos. <coughs> I say Amy and I are going down here in a few weeks, spend some time there. I've hired somebody to take care of the house and take care of the dogs and the pets and the chickens and the goats and all the frogs and pigs and whatever the hell lives around here. I don't know, a bunch of fucking animals. It's Amy's life, not mine. I don't want the animals. I didn't want them in the first place. I'm a grumpy old fart, remember? Grump, 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 grump. Um, uh, so, uh, I'll post if the dog wants to go out. I'll post some, uh, pictures from when we get back from down there, some videos, shoot some videos, show you what's around, see what her reactions are. And, uh, Hey, speaking of which, we're going to be getting rid of anything, everything. <coughs> <coughs> Those of you who are really friends of mine, <coughs> interested, hey, give me a holler. Shit's up, man. Anybody want anything? I got, everything's got to go. Literally, everything's going to go. We're going to liquidate 100% because prior personal property taxes here is... It's going to kill us. We can't, you know, it's just going to kill us. Um, I don't see us living successfully on our fixed incomes for extended periods of time. Uh, health care in Colombia is far superior to the health care here in the U.S. We will maintain and keep our <coughs> Medicare here anyway, because it's only a couple hours flight. We can catch direct flights, well, not from Kansas City, but we can go from Miami to Barranquilla, four hour flight, you know, to have, you know, it's, that's easy. Um, there are increased flights coming in, so, you know, it's going to be a few months before we actually move. I'm guessing six months, eight months, six months before we actually move. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Amy may throw a fit, but I'm saying, yeah, let's go, honey. I'm pushing this button. Um, we're leaving. Going to South America. I'm going to go live in Colombia. I'm working on learning Spanish. I'm <coughs> trying to learn Spanish. Uh, I need to go get a drink. And it's been 18 minutes, which is really long enough to explain that uh, I'm going to leave the United States. I'm keeping our citizenship. We're not renouncing. We're just going to go live on a beach in South America under a palm tree and drink beer, smoke weed, and be those old farts that we want to be. Uh, that's us, man. Love y'all. Bye.